My morning walk was delightful. Mm -hmm. So I mean, much breeze, nicer. Yes. Yeah. And tomorrow's will be just as nice. And too, yeah. maybe even Wednesday, it's going to extend into. You know, you don't normally see this in summer. Dew point temperatures don't go below the 70 degree mm -hmm. mark. But today, different story. Low 60s. Uh, think about it. Last week, it was mid 70s we were dealing yeah. with it. And this is the uh, first uh, day of summer. Actually, yeah. it starts in just a few minutes. It's almost here. It's not quite here uh, uh, yet, but we are looking at it arriving here in about, uh, what, uh, 15, 20 minutes or so. That's right. Uh, the summer solstice begins at 634 tonight, and that means the sun's angled, the direct angles, uh, at 23 and a half degrees north latitude. And it's the highest point in our sky, and it's the longest day of the year. Uh, tomorrow will be 13 hours and 51 minutes. Today, 13 hours and 52 minutes, and uh, officially arrives at 6:34. Uh, as far as the winds go, they're out of the east now. When they come out of the east, it has a tendency to actually dry things out a bit, and that's what we're seeing today. No sea breeze developing, and just a few brief showers now and again moving on through. And that's from the Lakewood Ranch uh, camera right there, right down the road at University Park. I was able to give a talk to the CERT, uh, the, the CERT group there. That's the Citizens Emergency Response Team, and a lot of neighborhoods have these now. They're very important teams that help out if there is an emergency, and a lot of great questions there were asked. Uh, that was uh, last week. This was this weekend, a weekend rainbow. Dave Kaplan sending this one in, a double rainbow right over Sarasota. What a great shot that was. Yeah, all the way, a double rainbow all the way. Uh, dry air all the way down south into the Keys tonight. There's a frontal boundary down here. We have a tropical storm over the western Gulf of Mexico, but for us, limited showers now popping up. That stationary front now down to our south. That's the same front that brought us that dry air now, and it will continue to stay with us at least through tomorrow and most of Wednesday. I mentioned the lone shower here and there. I ran into a brief sprinkle, and you may too uh, tonight, but no accumulation anticipated, and it shouldn't be around all that long. Currently, the temperature is 91. Boy, a high heat index, right? Just a 92. Uh, the dew point temperature at 63. The humidity at 39%. Again, you don't see that often here. A 91 degree high today that's uh, two degrees above the average 73 was the low will be a couple degrees cooler than that tomorrow uh, no rainfall officially at the airport immeasurable 90 in Tallahassee it's 91 in Sarasota 84 into Sebring now and Orlando 87 in Venice Gardens in Northport you're at 87 Northport you're low tonight 68 degrees 71 in Venice inland areas a little bit cooler but what will be nice is the low humidity around every location really for that matter maybe a little higher near the coast 68 in Wachula and 68 in Sebring well the RPM forecast model not showing much tonight tomorrow stays relatively dry we'll start to see more of an east to southeasterly wind by Wednesday at least this model hinting at that and that means a better chance for a few scattered showers I don't think it's going to be too rough we'll notice that humidity start to come up and then uh, Thursday and Friday a good chance of returning to summer afternoon storms again and here is our system, Danielle. It is the fourth named storm of the season uh, fairly quickly uh, for this to develop, too, and uh, developed just this afternoon and uh, this morning, I should say, at around 11 o'clock, and the winds are at 45 miles an hour. Top winds are at 60 and the pressure at 1,007 millibars. It's the earliest ever we've had four named storms develop here in the Atlantic Basin. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to see an active season, but uh, sure looks like it. A low tide at 853 and then another low tide at 705 tomorrow morning. East winds for boaters tomorrow. A little strong to start the day off. Seas running right around two feet with a moderate chop. The water temperature now at 86 degrees. UV index will be high tomorrow, but should be a nice day on the beach. Pleasant tonight, mostly fair. Cooler, a low of 71 degrees. We'll have northeasterly winds 5 to 10. Tomorrow looks good. A few sprinkles, 88 for your high and partly cloudy skies. Northeasterly winds at 5 to 10. The extended forecast does call for a little bit better chance for rain on Wednesday. And then we get back to summer on Thursday.